Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm happy to be presenting to you today. My presentation is about extending the life of the dehydration unit in LNG and NGL pretreatment train. This unit is commonly referred to as the MOLSIV unit. Today, I want to challenge you to think about this unit differently. BASF has brought innovation to the standard MOLSIV unit by developing new products and bed design. Today, we are not talking about a MOLSIV unit in the traditional sense, we're talking about a dehydration unit with longer life and more reliable service. In this presentation, I will start off with an introduction to how BASF aluminosilicate gel materials work and how they differ from molecular sieves. With this background, I'll then move into talking about how BASF designs dehydration units using the two different materials. I'll then show the benefits of using aluminosilicate gels and how the use of these materials can solve common problems experienced by dehydration units. As I mentioned, BASF does not design quote unquote molesive units. We design dehydration units using a combination of silica gel materials and molecular sieve materials. Since dehydration using silica gels is not common practice, I want to start by talking about how it works. Silica gel adsorption selectivity is not only based on size, like molecular sieves, but also on dipole-dipole interactions. Silica gel adsorbents contain active sites, which adsorb different molecules based on both size and polarity. Silica gels have high internal surface areas, resulting in an increased capacity compared to molecular sieves. The mode of action for adsorption onto these materials is also unique using both hydrogen bonding and capillary condensation. BASF produces a special type of silica gel called aluminosilicate, sold under the trade name Dorazorb. I will use the term Dorazorb HD or silica gel interchangeably throughout the presentation. These specialty silica gels have unique properties, which you can see listed here on this slide. These properties make Dorazorb HD well suited to LNG and NGL dehydration service. High crush strength and low attrition makes them robust. Low heat of adsorption makes regeneration easier. Acid resistance allows for the use in high CO2 and high, C high H2S conditions. And stability to water and liquid hydrocarbons means these materials will not fail if a carryover event occurs. Now, I'd like to compare silica gels to molecular sieves. I've touched on a few of these differences on the previous slide, including the mode of action of adsorption, the lower heat of adsorption, and the acid resistance. Also important to note, silica gels are amorphous materials, whereas molecular sieves are zeolites with clay binders, which can leach and lead to caking. Throughout this presentation, I'll talk in detail about how BASF aluminosilicates are robust in refluxing environments and how they are resistant to retrograde condensation two challenges commonly found in standard dehydration units. Before moving on, let me first explain retrograde condensation. In saturated rich gas, the pressure drop imposed during the adsorption cycle causes hydrocarbons to condense out of the gas phase and deposit onto the surface of the adsorbent. During hot regeneration, these carbon deposits will form coke, leading to deactivation. This is a problem for molecular sieves and a mode of failure for dehydration units. On the next slide, I'll further explain regeneration reflux, another possible failure mode for molecular sieve dehydration units. Some of you may be familiar with the problems caused by regeneration reflux. If you have worked with a dehyde unit that is experiencing pressure drop issues, the problem may be caused by degradation of the mole sieve due to refluxing during regeneration. As you can see in the picture on the right, condensation occurs when the bed is heated during regeneration. The top part of the bed is colder relative to the rest of the bed, so the water that has been desorbed will condense. In the hotter section of the bed, this condensed water will start to reflux. Standard molecular sieves break down in this environment and a donut ring of caked material forms on the top of the bed. BASF has come up with a solution to this problem by designing the bed with multiple layers and leveraging the unique properties of Dorazorb HD. On subsequent slides, I'll explain the solution in more detail. BASF 
dehydration beds are designed with multiple layers to address the issues plaguing the standard emulsive bed. In the simplest form, Dorosorb HD, the silica gel type material, is on top and Dorosorb HR, a specialty molecular sieve, is on the bottom. Dorosorb HD is a water resistant layer that can withstand occasional liquid carryover and regeneration reflux. Dorosorb HR is a specialty molecular sieve created for higher stability in the toughest environments. This combination design places the more robust material at the top of the bed where the most severe environments are seen, therefore protecting the molecular sieve section of the bed by providing a less severe environment. I'd like to take more time here to discuss how and why BASF design beds this way. BASF natural gas experts determine the ratio of Dorsorb HD to Dorsorb HR using proprietary software. Built into the models is the understanding that removal of bulk heavy hydrocarbons prior to the molecular sieve section of the bed reduces the effects of retrograde condensation. Depending on the gas feed, BASF determines the ratio of HD to HR to optimize the performance of the bed. Leveraging both the unique properties of the materials and the design of the bed reduces caking and coking in the dehydration vessel and extends bed life. Next, I'll talk about why combination bed designs work to increase bed capacity. Combination beds leverage the differences in performance of the two products at different relative humidities. Dorsorb HD has higher absorption capacity at higher water saturation, and Dorsorb HR has higher absorption capacity at lower water saturation levels. Designing the bed with these two materials creates a unit with higher overall water capacity. Now that I have provided an introduction and explanation of key features of Dorsorb, I'd like to start discussing customer case studies where Dorsorb solved the problem of premature bed failure and extended the lifetime of the units. The first case study is a baseload LNG plant requiring deep dehydration prior to cryogenic separation. The facility was experiencing poor dehydration unit performance, including premature breakthrough. Operations was forced to continuously decrease cycle time to meet specifications until there was no longer enough time for regeneration. The pressure drop was also increasing over time and the bed lasted less than two years. You can see the donut ring formation caused by caking of the molecular sieve in the picture on the right. BASF was called in to help solve the problem of poor performance. After speaking with the operators, BASF performed computational analysis to determine where in the bed reflux was occurring, then designed a new bed using this analysis. The graph on the right shows one point in time of the computational analysis. Red is oversaturated gas, blue is less saturated. What you see is water condensing out of the oversaturated gas along the wall of the bed toward the top, indicating that is where most of the reflux is occurring. When the bed with the incumbent material was unloaded, it was confirmed that the location of the caking matched that predicted by the computational analysis. Therefore, the bed was designed with a 30% layer of Dorsorb HD at the inlet. The remainder of the bed was filled with Dorsorb HR3, the specialty molecular sieve. 28 months after installation, of Dorosorb, the unit is still running on extended cycle times with no sign of pressure drop increase. The extended lifetime results in one last turnaround, which for a plant this size saves 1.8 million in turnaround costs. Importantly, there were no modifications to the vessel required. Dorosorb was used as a drop-in solution. Now moving on to the second case study. This is an NGL facility in North America that is fed with gas from enhanced oil recovery operations. So it is high in CO2. CO2 in the presence of water creates an acidic condition. The DHI unit was filled with acid resistant molecular sieve from another supplier, which was causing poor performance and frequent changeouts every six to nine months to avoid freezing in the distillation column. Operations performed analysis to determine the issues and identified elevated levels of heavy hydrocarbons in the feed. Additionally, after change out, they tested the spent molecular sieve, which showed both degradation and fines from the acidic environment 
and coke formation due to the presence of hydrocarbons. Fines generated were as high as 40% and coking was 7 to 15%. BASF natural gas experts were consulted on the challenges this NGL facility was having and proposed a Doorsorb combination bed solution. Using Doorsorb HD at the inlet of the bed, bulk hydrocarbons are absorbed, therefore reducing the effects of retrograde condensation on the molecular sieve. Additionally, Doorsorb HD is acid re resistant and absorbs water, reducing the harsh conditions experienced by the molecular sieve section of the bed. This design and the unique properties of Dorsorb HD reduce both conditions that cause degradation of the molecular sieves. The outcome of installing a Dorsorb bed design was an increase of lifetime to 24 months. The graph on the right shows that the combination bed has lasted almost three times longer than that of the incumbent acid resistant molecular sieve. The unit runs longer cycle times over the lifetime of the absorbent. The doors or bed also provides reliable operation as the unit has not experienced any freezing in the distillation column or upsets in production, which the owners and operators are very happy about. Less change outs result in less operational costs. With that, I'd like to end with a few conclusions. First, doors or dehydration bed designs solve problems caused by regeneration reflux and retrograde condensation issues commonly associated with molecular sieve dehydration beds. Thorsorb combina combination bed installation is a drop-in solution that on average doubles the lifetime previously achieved. Thorsorb HD is a robust material employed in current dehydration units to solve the problem of premature failure. Thorsorb HD is liquid hydrocarbon and water resistant. It has the ability to absorb both water and hydrocarbon and it is stable in acidic environments. As we've seen in the two case studies discussed, reliable operation and performance leads to reduction in operating costs and ensures continuous production. Thank you for your time, and if you are interested in learning more about Doorsorb, please reach out to me or visit our website, which you can see here at the bottom of the page. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation.